Hey gang, welcome to the Daily on iChurch. I'm Paul Goulet. What a thrill to be here on Prayer Mountain, the place where prayer happens every day and, and we're sh starting to shake the world through the power of prayer and fasting. We love you guys. Today we want to really encourage you. I get the honor of being here every Monday with you and uh, talking about how to bring order into your life. Last week we talked about exercise. Can you imagine I'm talking about that? But it's a big part of my life. Um, because if your life is in order, God will help you multiply, help you, help you be fruitful. So we were in Matthew 26. It says, watch and pray, lest you enter into temptation. The spirit is indeed willing, but the flesh is weak. So the Bible does say that exercise profits little. It doesn't say it didn't profit at all. But compared to some of the other very important elements, it, it may be little. It doesn't mean we don't exercise. It just says... Okay, if you're going to look at that, don't make that your lifestyle, that you're, you're exercising eight hours a day. There's more to life than exercise or pumping up our bodies and building big muscles. Um, there's a whole lot more. So I want to talk about the second aspect of bringing your life in order, and that's what you eat and that's what you drink. All right? So let's talk about that. Because the Bible says the spirit is willing, but the flesh, how can I take care of this temple? How can I make sure that my flesh is not as weak as other people. I mean, they're, they're, I could tell there's some people that are so out of shape, but there's others that eat garbage and they wonder why they're tired. They wonder why uh, they can't get up in the morning. They wonder why they find it hard to concentrate throughout the day. And, and they're looking for the monster drink or the, the five hour energy or whatever. I'm not against those things. I'm just saying, is that the answer? Is that the best answer? Or would it be better to eat well to furnish this temple that we have that God gave us he created it in a certain way. And I, I personally feel very strong about this. We as Christians, I mean, we're the ones that go out after church and then we eat that you know, extra piece of apple pie and the fries with the gravy on it and whatever else. We just get, we get in these bad habits. And it's, yes, I like my burgers. I like pizza. Uh, I could tell you about all the stuff that I like that I shouldn't like. But what I've done recently is I started changing my daily discipline of food. And what I do is in the morning I eat a, a fruit, afternoon it can be a salad or a, a, a bowl of soup, and in the evening usually it's some type of uh, meat or a fish or something like that. I'm really trying to discipline it. I've been doing very, very well because I have had the tendency to not eat well, and I decided, Paul, you gotta take care of this temple of yours if you wanna get things in order. So we don't want disease to enter our body. We wanna eat right, so at least we're strong enough to, to handle the, the challenges that are on our bodies. So eating well will affect your mood. Um, you know that the incidences of obesity in our nation and, and, uh, and um, diabetes, so, so many things that America's struggling with right now is because our eating habits have gone completely astray. It's time, my friends, not only to exercise daily, but to start eating right. And I wanna challenge you, try, try to eat a, a, a fruit in the morning a bowl of soup or salad of the afternoon, and then have a nice dinner at night. Or flip it out, have a great breakfast. It's up to you to figure out something that's gonna work for you. I know there's some people that are much more uh, stringent or religious about what they eat. I, I'm a little more flexible, but at least I feel like I've made huge progress in my life, and I feel like I'm in pretty good shape, and I'm taking care of my body, taking care about what I put into my body. Um, it's funny, the other day, uh, we, had, we, we blew a, a, a fuel pump on one of our cars, and, and I was told that sometimes when we let our gas get too low and we buy cheap gas, it can actually blow part of your fuel pump or something like that. Now, it's interesting because if you neglect what you put in your car, it will, in fact, b blow up, which it did for me. Um, so maybe I was trying to get cheap gas or maybe I was letting it go down to the bottom all the time. I don't know the exact reason. They, they kind of explained it to me and I, I understood that. Uh, but it, I think there's a great correlation to what you and I eat on a daily basis. Let's get rid of those fries. If you want to have fries, treat yourself once a week and say, I'm going to have fries today. Pizza, let's have it once a week instead of every day. Um, let's, let's really start looking. And there's so many wonderful, I'm not talking about diet for dieting sake. I'm talking about a diet for health. Do you understand what I'm saying? Now, can there be a side effect of losing weight? The answer is yes. I lost a bunch of weight when I started doing these type of things. So I want to really throw that out to you. Why? Because you are the temple of the Holy Spirit. Your flesh is weak. Take care of it. You're going to become stronger because remember your body, soul, and spirit. I mentioned that last week. Body, take care of your body. 
your body will affect your spirit and will affect your emotions. Your emotions will affect your body. If you're always stressed out, it's going to affect your body. Your spirit will affect the other two. So if you understand that you're a three-part person, according to the Word of God, you're going to take more attention to this body of ours. And maybe as Christians, we can become the ones that are in the best shape and taking care of the best, uh, the best care of our bodies because it's a treasure. Um, the Bible says that we're God's work of art. He wasn't just talking about our minds and our spirits. It's talking about us. So if you ever study the Bible, uh, the, the body, you're going to find out that that machine of yours that God gave you is amazing. You are fearfully and wonderfully made, the Bible says. So, all right, are you ready to do that today? Let's start getting in shape. Let's start eating right. And by the way, drink lots of water. Get rid of the soda. The soda's not going to help you. I know there's some people telling me to get rid of my coffee. I've got, I've got two cups a day. Okay, I know it's not horrible, but it, I, I, I've really cut it back. So that's why I'm at two right now a day. And so drink more water. I drink tons and tons of water every day, which really helps me. I've gotten rid of iced tea. Very rare will I even drink an iced tea. Why? Get rid of some of the caffeine, uh, getting rid of the sodas. I'm doing really, really well on that stuff. I want to encourage you to take some steps that will affect and help your body. All right, see you tomorrow because we've got more dailies tomorrow. It's good stuff. You're always going to be inspired here on iChurch. I love you.